United Methodist Church is the third largest religious body in America and may be the ninth or tenth largest religious body uh, in the world. It's a, a global church with uh, 12 going on 13 million uh, members, 7 million of whom are in uh, the United States. And uh, for the last uh, almost 45 years, the main battle flag issue between the conservative wing and the liberal wing of the U.S. church has been over uh, sexuality, specifically uh, same-sex marriage and whether or not um, active uh, gay people should be ordained uh, into the ministry. And continuously since 1972, the denomination has upheld uh, traditional marriage and an understanding that the clergy should be a celibate if single and uh, monogamous uh, if married in a male-female marriage. And uh, the church prohibits uh, same-sex marriage. The church uh, reaffirms its uh, current traditional teachings that uh, probably and hopefully will keep the denomination together and allow its uh, continu continued growth around the world. The denomination loses close to 100,000 members every year in the U.S., but it gains over 200,000 members every year overseas. So unlike other U.S.-only mainline Protestant churches, it is a growing denomination, but if the church were to liberalize its sexuality teachings in some formal way, then very likely the church would have a, a schism and uh, would shatter in some way, losing much of the overseas church and uh, conservatives and liberals would divide in the U.S. If you look at uh, what has happened at uh, the Episcopal Church, the Presbyterian Church USA, the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America, uh, the United Church of Christ, the other historically uh, liberal mainline Protestant denominations, uh, after they officially liberalized in marriage and sexuality, uh, they suffered schisms, they suffered uh, enhanced uh, membership decline, and so now you have, uh, for example, the United Church of Christ, which has already lost close to 60 percent of its members over the decades, forecasting another 80 percent membership loss over the next 30 years. It's a pretty grim future and not a future that I would want for my own denomination. I think uh, if we want a, um, a healthy future for United Methodism, we need to reaffirm uh, traditional Christian teachings.